What's up everyone on YouTube, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I thought this could be interesting to watch. This is Tekken 6, this is 10 years ago, uh, this is from 2010, but you have Aris, avoiding the puddle, you know, the bearded man, um, Hagrid, but in, where does he live, is it San Diego, in Cali, Cali. The Hagrid of Kali, playing uh, Dragon of Air, his old main, and he's going up against a Kazuya player, Mishima Star. And many of you do not know this, but he's currently the battle tuning director for Tekken 7. So what does that mean? He's in charge of a team that balances the game. He's their boss. He's the chief, the, the director of a battle tuning team. And a lot of people have never seen him play. Excellent Kazuya player and Mishima player uh, in general. So Aris is playing here against the tuning director of uh, Tekken 7. And also something a lot of people don't know is that he has been in charge of that not only with Tekken 7 for its entire lifespan, but he's been working closely with the developers of Tekken for many years prior to Tekken 7 as well. He's sort of been their community go-to guy in terms of just finding out like, what do you, Mishima Star, feel about the balancing of Tekken? And what do you hear other people say about the, the balancing? So, uh, he's been a key player there, you know. Um, and he's had a large impact on how Tekken has turned out, you know. And uh, the great game Tekken 7 is, uh, is much thanks to him. Because his balancing has been very on point. Tekken 7 is the most balanced Tekken game in history. And then Leroy happened, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, if Mishima Star, you know, felt that Leroy. Oh no, he works. He's flawless. I mean, just looking at his down one plus two, I'd say anyone who is all right at Tekken understands that that move is too much. But especially when you play at this level. But so here it's pretty cool to see how different uh, Tekken 6 is from... Um, uh, Tekken 7, combo damage is less, so it favors uh, poking on the ground uh, a tad more. Uh, and of course you can bound here, so you can bound at the wall as well, so the combos are quite different. Uh, Kazuya is completely useless in this game. He's, he's as bad as he's ever been. Uh, at, at the most, some people and players would say he's mid-tier in Tekken 6, but he, in reality, is more like mid-low. He's very, very bad. If you want to know how bad, just watch my Tekken 6 revisited vi video where I discuss it. Uh, Dragonov, a much stronger character than him in this game. Um, but uh, certainly nice to see Aris uh, and how strong he was already here. Uh, he's a very competent player. Uh, so nice sidestep, flash punch there, 1-1-2. One, one, oh, gets the mount, breaks the um, tackle option there. No throw break. Throw breaks are much, much harder here in Tekken 6 and Tag 2. Uh, in Tekken 7 you know that default throws have huge break windows and command throws have smaller break windows. In these games, even default throws had small break windows. Uh, so default throws were very strong. So that's why everyone had a pretty, de pretty decent throw game uh, in Tekken 6 and Tag 2 and prior games. Because everyone had a strong 1 break, 2 break, 1 plus 2 break. So it's um, it really stands out now in Tekken 7 when someone has a command throw 1 break, 2 break, 1 plus 2 break. It's such an advantage compared to other characters. I mean, look at Gigas, has a devastating 1 plus 2 throw. But he can only mix it with default throws that are super easy to break. Yeah, I think yeah, Aris was rocking a beard already in 2010. Oh, very nice up for four by Aris. Round two. Fight. 
So sorry about the quality, but it is uh, a long time ago. Fight. And here you can see just one of the things where Kazuya is trash. Forward 4 is one of his absolute most important moves. You know, it's it's it could even be number 1 in front of the electric. And this is what it did in this game. Notice that it does not force crouch. It pushes them back super far and the advantage on block is like plus 3, I think. It does nothing. Nothing. You see? Knocks him back into safety, basically. You see? Like, you have no idea how weak Kazuya is in, uh, in Tekken 6. And still, you know, all of that execution that goes into him. You know, all of that execution for nothing. Uh, there was no reason to play him whatsoever in this game. Everyone who played Mishima went with... Uh, uh, Devil Jin. Devil Jin was... He was not god tier in Tekken 6, but he was top tier. And uh, Heihachi was really bad, Kazuya was even worse. Fight. Oh yeah, and his downward one is 16 frames. Yes. But there, it, it goes on forever. His down back 4? Plus 2 on the hit. They can jab you out afterwards. To interrupt you. If you go for down for two. Oh, nice, perfect electric. Right up Aris, tight ass. Close out the round, you got the perfect, come on. You don't want to drop around, round. Right? Nice, well set. Round four. Fight. Nice for three. <laughs> what a clusterfuck. Should be it? No? Oh, <laughs> what is this? Fucking uh, green rank players. Nice play. New challenger. Get ready for the next battle. No, I don't think I've seen a hell sweep yet. Round one. Oh, big one. Ooh, sick. Oh, one plus two did not connect. Always been very iffy with the hitbox. Round two. Oh, nice pickup. Oh shit, the pickups. And it's stuff like that we can't do anymore. With the new Oki system. And this is rage, a lot of damage. There we go, hell sweet. Stomp. Round three. Fight. Oh god, I think so. Okay. Nice. Some nice Oki from Aris. <laughs> Speaking of Oki. Oh, no break! Hanashiri Naranda. Get ready for the next. No, Iris is still a very strong player. He did well at Evo. I think he got like what? In the 60s? He was at like. Uh, I mean, I, can't, I got 97 place. He got like 67 or 65 or something. He did really well. He's a very good player. Oh, nice tackle. Oh. 
gets the tackle mix up. Round two. Fight. Uh, this stage is incredible. It actually feels like a real life location compared to Tekken 7 stages that are just so bland and boring. This really feels like you're in a square in a little village. Small village. Round three. I is looking very dominant here. This match. Oh, nice with punish. That's gonna get punished. No wall splash though. Oh, all oh right. You see, he does while stun. Oh, sorry, he does while stunning too here. You see, he crouch dashes into it. And this is of course a move that today is homing, but it's not homing in Tekken Six. <laughs> uh, in Tekken Six, you were you, it was pretty much free playing against Kazuya because you only stepped left and you would dodge everything, including electric while standing two. Da even down for two is not homing in this game, even though it tracks well. <laughs> Very nice play by Aris here. It's just such a different game, Tekken 6, compared to Tekken 7. But it's so old, Tekken 6, you know, released on consoles in 2009, and I think in arcades in what? 2006? I think at the end of 2006. It's just so old. So old. Um. So, uh, yeah, good shit. That was Aris versus Mishima Star, the guy who is in charge currently, uh, or since forever, uh, of uh, balancing of Tekken. So it's nice to put maybe not a face on the person, but some gameplay on the person. And remember that this is 10 years ago. Uh, it was just fun that he was fighting Aris. It was quite the coincidence. They are probably more um, um, later... Um, later date matches of him on YouTube. More recent, more recent is what I'm trying to find here. Uh, but good shit. And Aris, you know, already 10 years ago, very solid player. Very solid.